Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. I'm trying to get this lotion out. Sorry, I gotta get some moisturization going on in these hands cause they are dry, all right? It is so cold outside, but it's so pretty. It's bright, it's sunny on this beautiful morning. Hooch out. They still kind of sound like rice paper a little bit, but it's moisturized. So y'all, do you lotion your backs? Because the last week and a half, like I've really been noticing like the middle of my back, super ashy, but my hands are only so long to stretch and try to get the lotion. Like how do you moisturize your back? Do you moisturize your back? You should be, and your knees, your hands and your elbows. Anyway, um, we are headed to the grocery store because word on the street is that AI the Great and Denise Adore are both baking up something sweet and delicious in the kitchen. So I was like, let me put in a little one, two on this too. So I'm going to make this, it's like a lemon loaf cake. I've made it a few times before and I figured why not? I'm not the best baker. Okay. I can cook, but baking, me and baking, we we don't really see eye to eye like that. I have my faults in that department, but to each his own. I still can do a little something, something. So I'm going to make this cake because I've made it before. So I'm pretty confident in it. But yeah, so it's going to be fun. I want to see what they're going to be making in the kitchen. And hopefully this turns out good. But y'all, so I woke up this morning and it was so freaking cold. Okay, so freaking cold. So... I also want to make some lasagna soup. Now, I've seen it a few times on um, Instagram. I don't have TikTok, so I don't know if this is like an old trend. I'm not really hip on jumping on trends, but um, I saw it on Instagram. So I want to make it, and I think it's perfect because it is so cold outside. And honestly, it's not really that it's cold. It's just super windy. It's like 58 degrees, but the wind chill makes it super windy. So... I want to make some lasagna soup with my dessert. This lemon loaf cake is going to be chef's kiss for this beautiful windy day. Okay. So let's head to HEB. But first I want to put on some shades. I don't know if I should do these. I think these will be too dark. Yeah, I can see y'all, but y'all can't see me, so. Or, my Amazons, but these are getting fingerprints on them. Y'all, these are the cutest cheap little glasses ever. These don't match my outfit, but I can see y'all and y'all can see me, so we're just gonna roll with these. And of course, my camera is about to die. What would a vlog be without a dying battery? Why I just looked down at my sweater and realized I forgot my coffee this morning. Ugh. So I was trying to get in the festive spirit and I was looking for my ugly Christmas sweater, couldn't find it, so I threw this on, leaves and latte. I made a latte this morning, but I left it at home. Like, what is that about? So I guess I'm gonna have to pick up the coffee from Starbucks or just thug it out until I get home. I don't know, but this battery's about to die, so let's go.
y'all so i'm back home and i got everything that i needed to make my lemon loaf cake and then everything else is for the lasagna soup child i saw this in the store you guys know i'm addicted to chips i just want to try it tangy chili fusion i have to i just i have to please don't judge me and then this is the best soap ever so i just got the refills for this i absolutely love the power wash cuts through grease perfect and then I did pick up some cotton candy grapes for a little snack because I do enjoy that. But this is everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get us prepped and ready to go. I think I'm going to start with the cake first. I'm going to start the cake so that way it'll have time to cool. There is a like a powdered sugar frosting on top of the cake. So I want all of that to kind of settle. And then we'll get into the lasagna if you're interested in seeing that. So let's get to it. you guys so my cake is in the oven it's doing its thug fizzle okay so while that is getting ready i'm gonna go ahead and prep the vegetables for my lasagna soup i still need to make the simple syrup and the um powdered sugar frosting that i was telling you guys about earlier but i need to wait closer to the time that this is done so that it doesn't harden up so let's go ahead and get these vegetables prepped for this soup 
And don't forget, go and check out AI's video and Denise Adore. They're both in the kitchen as well, making up something super sweet and delicious. I was minding my business, cutting up these vegetables, listening to the new Nicki Minaj album. <sighs> yeah, about this cake that was in the oven. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat or front with you guys. I told you my baking skills are not the best. I let time get the best of me. It's a little bit charred, just a tiny bit charred, you guys, but it still looks delicious. It still smells good. But I'm gonna show you guys what the cake is looking like. I accidentally left it in just a little bit too long. So it's kind of brown, charred, just a little bit here, but it's still a nice little toasty color. I can still save it. I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit and then I'll start on the simple syrup. <laughs> One more view. It's not too terrible, is it? Yeah, it's kind of bad. Look at that corner. It's pretty burnt. Ooh, this one's bad. This side is worse. But the bottom, y'all, the bottom is still good. So I'm thinking uh, it's still going to eat, especially the middle part. It's still going to eat. But the corners, not too much. So let me go ahead and make this frosting, and then I'll be done with the cake. So I didn't think that I had powdered sugar at home already, but I actually did. So we're going to go ahead and use it. Um, and making the frosting is pretty simple. It's just three ingredients. So we're going to make it right in the measuring cup. So I need a half a cup of the powdered sugar. Let's see. Uh oh, I'm making a mess. All right. So that's a half a cup. And we need a tablespoon, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. So there's lemon juice in every aspect of this recipe. So if you're not a fan of lemon, um, I think you could swap it out for like oranges instead, maybe. Doesn't hurt to try. So a tablespoon of that. And then it's just a half tablespoon of milk. So you're gonna mix it all together till it's nice and smooth like this. Pretty simple, right? Ooh, child, my hands are ashy, but I've been washing my hands 
all day and in between almost every step. So ash it is, okay? Okay, y'all, so the soup is almost done. I just added the pasta, maybe about three minutes ago. I'm gonna let it simmer for about another 10 or so minutes and then it'll be ready. I'll turn the heat off and just kind of let it cool a little bit. But the cake is ready for me to taste. So I'm gonna flip this around so you guys can see the final product. So this is her in all her glory. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna taste it and I'm gonna give my honest opinion on what I think about it. All right, so I'm gonna taste both the end piece and then I have a middle piece. Hold on now. It's not as soft as when I baked it the right way before. But y'all, this end piece is not terrible. Mm-hmm. I'll give it a strong 7.8 out of 10 because I know the potential that this can give. But let me taste the middle piece. The middle piece is much softer, I can already tell. 
The middle piece is given. The middle piece is given. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I recover. I recover. Mm. All right. That middle piece, again, it's not as super soft as I normally make it, but it's still giving moist. It's still giving delicious, and there is no sign of like it being overcooked. So, I'm gonna give myself a B minus, y'all. A B minus, okay? This could have been an A plus, but I wasn't on my A game because I was distracted. But this is a solid B minus. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking good. Let me just go ahead and finish this up. Y'all, I'm so glad that all was not lost. That was really, really good. I give myself a solid B minus. You know how you come across a real pretty girl and she's got, she's pretty on the outside and then you find out she has like a great personality on the inside, but then her edges might be fried a little bit. That's exactly what this lemon loaf cake is giving y'all. It's giving a solid B minus. I ain't mad at it. I'll take it. That end piece ain't terrible. It's definitely edible. It's just a little, a little hard, a little stiff, but that middle... All day, every day, moist city, baby. Moist, moist city, baby. Ooh, child, my hands are so ashy, but I've been washing my hands all day, okay? So my soup is done. I'm gonna give it a little while for it to kind of cool down. Plus, since I just had something sweet on my palate, I wanna wait until it kind of like cleanses itself so I can taste this properly and season it one more time. The last time I seasoned it, it was perfect, but I want to taste it one more time once I get this cake taste off of my tongue. But it looks really good, y'all. All right. So it looks really good. Like I said, I'm going to let it cool down a little bit and then I'll plate it. Hey guys, so I am almost done editing this video and I realized I didn't properly like close out this vlog. So I figured I'd come back on, it's a couple days later, but I figured I'd come back on and share with you guys my first fragrance PR. Can you believe that? Like I am so excited. <laughs> my entire collection has been purchased. Like I haven't received any kind of PR from not a near near body. And the PR that I have gotten in just my lifespan being on YouTube is from Skin Potion. I will forever, ever, forever, ever, ever have a deep rooted love for them because I appreciate them seeing me. I see y'all, y'all see me. And not only did they reach out to me, but I genuinely love their products. And so Skin Potions has a special place in my heart. And Teddy Blake reached out too, so I did do a partnership with them. It wasn't a sponsorship per se, but it was a partnership. So I just appreciate when I get like genuine, you know, emails from brands and companies who do want to collaborate or work with me. So thank you to both of those. Now, this is from, I think his name is Nico and I think he represents Soradora. So there is a, a little story behind this. So he had reached out to me a while ago and being 100% honest, I kind of thought it was a low key scam because he asked for my information. I gave him my information and I never got the package. And so he reached out again, maybe about a month ago at this point, And he asked me my, you know, just my take on how the fragrance was. I told him I never got it. I just kind of wrote it off because part of me felt like it was a scam, but it wasn't. <laughs> they just forgot to put 
my P.O. box number on the box. So I'm, I'm assuming that's what happened the last time because the P.O. box number is not on this one either. And I just so happened to go to the post office to check my box and I asked them at the counter if they happened to see a box for me and they did. They were getting ready to send it back. So that really was God looking out this time. So I'm rambling you guys, but I am excited because like I said, I haven't received fragrance PR at all. So let's get into this. Okay, so this is what I got in the box. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. So I got this. So this looks like a discovery set. Oh, nice. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine samples in here for me to try out. So I'm not gonna snip all of these on camera, but I will discover them on my own and I'll come back and let you guys know how I feel about these. But thank you, Nico and Sora Dora for that. And then the full size bottle that I got was Mandorle. Okay. So I'm obviously late to the Sora Dora party, but better late than never. I can't smell anything from here. I'm gonna spray this in the box and see how this comes off to me. Mm. I don't know if it's this box, but it comes off immediately. I get something medicinal a little bit. Medicinal and kind of oody, woody and oody. I don't know if it's the box. Let me let me spray this paper. Dang, the paper smells waxy. All right, I'm gonna spray the box. Yeah, so I still get like a medicinal vibe. It's almost like there's like a woody, oody kind of undertone, but there's definitely vanilla in here. It's musky. It's almost kind of like cough syrupy or, or maybe it's like a, a boozy. I don't know, child. I don't know any of the notes, but this for sure comes off as a fall winter fragrance. So I'm actually gonna wear this tomorrow. I do have on something today. I'm gonna wear this tomorrow and see what this gives. I don't know how I feel about it on the paper or on the box, but I am so appreciative of getting this in PR nevertheless. And I'm going to work through the samples of this. So again, Nico, thank you so much for reaching out and Soradora for reaching out. I truly appreciate this. Like I said, this is my very first fragrance PR and I am very grateful for it. Okay, so since I'm unboxing, I figured I'd go ahead and show you some of the things that I picked up for um, Black Friday. It's not a whole lot, but I figured why not since I'm opening some things up. So uh, this is from Fenty. All right, so what I realized you guys is the best deals from the brands come a few days or like the weekend before Black Friday. So what Fenty typically does is, it's like a couple days before Black Friday, they give you a 30% off sale if you're like a VIP inside, whatever the insider name is, you get like 30% off. And then as you get closer to Black Friday, it's 25% off and then they go down to like 20% off. So I try to look out for that. And even before the Sephora sale, they'll do their own thing, which is usually always better than Sephora. So of course I had to pick up a few things. Um, so I did re-up on some lip glosses. I love, 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 love Sweet Mouth and Fussy. I always go between these two, but I picked up some so I can gift it to um, a friend that I am making like a gift basket for. So I picked up those. 
And then I picked up another concealer. This is in 410. And then I picked up the Hella Thick Mascara. I've heard some good things about this, so I wanted to try this out. Last but not least, I picked up the Hydra Visor. So this is the SPF and Moisturizer in one. I've heard good things about this as well, so we'll see how that does. And that was it from Fenty. Y'all, I didn't do a lot of damage for Black Friday. I wasn't really trying to shop for Black Friday, but once I saw the sales, I said, let me just peruse just to window shop. And if I liked it and the price was reasonable, I just picked it up. I think all together for this, I don't know if the price is on here. The price is not on here, but I want to say it was like under a hundred dollars that I got for this stuff from Fenty. And then I picked up some deodorant. Yes, girl, deodorant from Native and Native is expensive. So I pay, I'm embarrassed to say, I pay $12 for one thing of deodorant from Target. And that's $12 before taxes. So I saw that they were having a sale and I said, you know what? I like it enough. Let me go ahead and grab a couple while it's, while I can get some money off. Ooh, uh, this is messy. Okay, so they packaged it up like this. So I picked up a spray, deo this is a body spray, deodorant and body spray. And this is in eucalyptus and mint. And then I picked up black oak and amber. This one is my favorite. So I picked up two of these, blackberry and green tea. Y'all, when I tell you the freshness that it gives, I love, 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 love this scent. And so I picked up two of those and then the black oak and amber. So I'm interested to see how this, mm, this is not bad. This actually smells really good. Mm. Let me see how this smells. Okay, nothing really special about that. It smells fresh. So, yeah, I'm glad that I got these on sale because, like I said, it's twelve dollars original price. Um, and I want to say these had like a maybe a three or four dollar discount on them. So, why not? I need to use deodorant anyway. So, grabbed a couple of those on sale. Then I picked up a few things off Amazon. I've been doing really good with not doing the most with Amazon. And I don't quite remember what I got from Amazon except for this one box where I can see the picture on the outside of it. This, what is this? I saw something on um, Instagram, of course. I saw something about like envelope stuffing on Instagram. Just, you know, encouraging you to save money. And because I never really carry cash on me, I wanna start like stashing away cash just to have on hand. And I wanna see how well I can do that. So in the midst of me looking for a cute little cash stuffing planner thing i ran across this it's a safe and the only way that you can get your money out of this safe is to break it open and so i thought this was a genius idea so i don't like dibble and dabble in what i'm saving and it came with stickers so you can decorate your box and it also has envelopes so you can put your money in the envelope and then put it here in this slot and yeah there is absolutely no opening besides the slot where you put your money in so in order to access the cash that you put in here you have to break it open so i thought you know what let me try this out and see how well i can save some cash and see how long i can do it for so Maybe I'll do it for like a year or 18 months and just, just see how fast I can get my money to grow. Not how fast, cause I'm gonna set a time period on it, but 
maybe how much cash I can stuff in here. That was very random, but I saw it on Instagram. And of course it was like two o'clock in the morning going down the rabbit hole. So you know how that goes. This one, I don't know. I don't remember what this is either. Oh, this, this is just a re-up on my clean tissue. This is for my face, my clean skin club. All the girlies on YouTube talk about this. This is the truth. I've been using this for a while. I know my girl Keiko Beauty talks about this a lot and for great reason, y'all. These are perfect to make sure that you're not spreading bacteria to your face, especially if you are acne prone. So this is just a re-up. So I forgot that this may have been back ordered because I ordered this a long time ago and I just forgot. And then the last thing that I got from Amazon are air purifiers. And these were on sale. Just like that. These were on sale and I have been wanting to get like one of the nice fancier ones, like the one from Dyson. But I said, you know what, let me get me a less expensive version first, try it out, see how I like it, and then I'll eventually upgrade. But before I dive in, I don't wanna spend all that money. So these got pretty good reviews on Amazon, so I'm excited to see how this does with, I don't have really bad allergies, but I do have allergies when the seasons change. So I wanna see how this kind of helps me with that. Not only that, but I want to know if this kind of helps with, because I cook and I cook quite a bit and I hate when my house has that lingering smell of food being cooked. So I'm hoping this will kind of help with that too. I don't know, we'll see. So I don't see any filters and I don't know if I was supposed to buy that separately. Nope, it comes with one. So it does come with a filter, but I do need to buy refills of that so that is good to know all right then i picked up just some workout gear from women's best i'm not gonna try these on for you guys i'm sorry <laughs> but i will show you so i picked up a black sports bra the material feels really good I like that. And then I picked up, ooh, the leggings to go with this. Y'all, what I found is that when I feel good in what I'm wearing, it motivates me to get my butt up and go to the gym because y'all know I've been trying to unbig my back all 2023 long and it's been a struggle okay losing five pounds is not easy anymore it is not i picked up a gray pair of workout tights i already have a sports bra to go with this so i didn't need to pick it up during black friday and then ooh. This is a navy blue. The material on this is different. Feels really good. That's navy blue. And then it's the sports bra. Is it the sports bra? No. Yeah, it's a tank, razor tank top to go with it. So it has a zip in the front. How cute is that? So I'm excited about that. We'll see how that wears, but yeah, you guys, I didn't go ham this Black Friday, and I'm excited about that because everything is expensive. Now, the last two items I picked up are similar. So this, I picked up this Rustlin Boginski hat during Black Friday, you guys. And by the time I post this video, I would have already worn this. I should have a picture, so I'll post it up here so you guys can see what it looks like on me. But let me tell you, so I saw this hat the night of Black Friday, okay? And it was in a size large. I was so excited when I saw it because 
seeing a large or extra large is few and far between on like the other sites like farfetch revolve you have to go to the rustlin baginski site to actually get your size so if you see a large or an extra large on those other sites grab it so me knowing this i put it in my cart friday night i don't know what i was doing i fell asleep i woke up saturday morning to go back and complete my transaction the hat was gone okay the hat was gone so i was so freaking annoyed but they had a medium and i went ahead and i ordered the medium and it fits but the large I know would fit way better than what this one fits. But the reason why I decided to keep this is A, because I've been eyeing this hat for two years. And this is the newer version of this hat. The older version has the crystal embedded in the RB. This is like an RB, like bedazzled roping, it looks like. This is like the new season. But the older season model of this, I was eyeing that hat when it first came out. But I was not willing to pay $550 I think, $50 for it. This one I got on Farfetch for $234, and that is with tax. So I had to scoop it up, and it fit good enough for me to just go ahead and say, you know what, I can keep it, I can make it work. So I love this color. You guys know I love the color green, and so I love this hat. So it came in a box like this from Farfetch, and they also give you, like, the bag to go with it. Now, not too long ago... I was perusing again and I saw another hat on Revolve. So the hat from Revolve came in this box like this and all I got was the hat like this. So I saw this white one and I am going to take it off so you guys can see. So I saw this white one, you guys, and I thought this would be so cute for the summertime. But just looking at it and looking at how it was packaged, there's like this dent in the hat that I'm not too fond of. I'm sure I could like steam that out or something. But also, I don't know. I just don't think it looks as good on me as the green one does so i'm sending this one back yeah i'm sending this one back i don't think this style is gonna work out for me but it looked really cute on the internet so i purchased this as well and this one came out to be like maybe 260 or something this was also on sale so if i didn't already say this white hat was in a size large and the green one was in the medium all right, y'all, so this is going to be the end of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully it wasn't too noisy in the background. I'm watching Jingle Jangle. I love this cute little Christmas movie. I love watching Christmas movies, period, during this time of year. So, um, yeah, I'm watching this. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to edit this last part and add it to this video so you guys can watch it tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, you guys, that lasagna soup, the lasagna soup was a hit. It was a definite hit, okay? I have like one small bowl left and I'm gonna eat that tonight for dinner and it's done done. So my friend came over the other night and he towed it up, okay? Tow it up. So that was a 10, 10, 10 across the board. And the cake was hitting too, okay? But I stand 10 toes down on my B minus because the presentation was a little subpar. I could have done better in that aspect, especially with me charring the corners and the edges. But the taste overall it was hidden so b minus is not bad either okay don't sleep on a b minus so all right you guys so until the next time you guys i will see you on